Uh, is there Andres Van here? Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Julian from the Netherlands. Professor Wang, thank you so much for the interesting presentation. Can I just share my screen and uh, take it away? Yes, I see your screen. Yes, if you give me one second, I will share my screen. Okay, the next talk is Tyler Odelin, the effect of propanol administration after fear memories reactivation by a second order adaptive neural model. Yes, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, I'm Andres van der Meer. Um, I'm a recent master graduate from the Free University of Amsterdam as a part and as part of the course Behavior Dynamics in Social Networks. We created a second order adaptive model for fear extinction by administering uh, pranolol. Now I might have a quite uh, uncommon way of introducing the topic by means of series of clips. And I want to uh, give some few discretion. If you're afraid of spiders, uh, I would not recommend you to watch these clips. Uh, but yeah, let's take it away. Can everyone hear the uh, videos, by the way? So as we can see, we, he is very afraid of the spider. And then uh, this is followed by the administration of, or by administering propanolol. Then the day afterwards, he comes back and the following thing happens. Incredible. He can touch the tarantula like he has never been afraid of it. Um, well, first of all, let's move a step back and introduce two essential concept, concepts, the concept of fear and the dysregulation of fear. So fear is essentially of activating the fight or flight response to danger threats to prevent harmful situations, but it can be dysregulated and that leads to an unregulated fear response. It can be induced when there is no harmful threat and that can that leads to social anxiety disorders. Uh, one commonly known disorder is post-traumatic stress disorder. And a way to eliminate fear, a uh, common method used is fear extinction learning. That involves the repeated exposure to a cue to produce the extinction of fear. And the neurological basis behind it is that we have the amygdala, the ventral medial prefrontal cortex, and the hippocampus, where the amygdala is involved in fear conditioning by a conditioned stimulus, which leads to a conditioned fear response. Then the ventral medial prefrontal cortex is mostly involved with retention and retrieval of memories. And the hippocampus is involved in the recall of extinction learning, but also the context dependent renewal of extinguished fear. Now, what role does propranolol has to play in this? That is that normally norepinephrine 
enhances the contextual fear memory consolidation, or we can reduce the amount of norepinephrine by blocking beta adrenal receptors with propanolol. So first in this treatment, the fearful memory is recalled. Recall the uh, person that went to the tarantula and got completely freaked out. Then propanolol is uh, administered to the uh, patient, which blocks the beta adrenal receptors and decreases norepinephrine. And that leads to the reconsolidation of the fear memory and to fear extinction. So let's move on to the model. Uh, so we created a second order adaptive model, which includes a base layer where we modeled the presence of fear in its brain area and also the propranolol and norepinephrine, which will be represented in states in this model. And in this model, propranolol reduces norepinephrine. Now, the first and second order layer consists of um, a layer that facilitates learning, the first layer, and the second layer activates learning. So our model consists of a total of 14 states, and we will walk through them uh, right now. So moving on to the base layer, here we can see the condition stimulus that is picked up by the amygdala, which leads to a conditioned response. And here we have the hippocampus and the ventral medial prefrontal cortex forming the fear extinction model. And then the second base layer is the model where propanolol is administered to reduce the amount of norepinephrine. Then the first order layer contains three W states or away states that have the Habian learning combination function. And that is to uh, facilitate learning and change the hippocampal and the ventral medial prefrontal cortex state. Now, um, the second order layer <coughs> activates learning. So recall that the first layer um, makes the learning or uh, is responsible for learning, whereas the second layer activates the learning. Um, and so looking at the role matrix, we can see here that the, uh, the second order layer is affected by the uh, norepinephrine state, state eight, and that the first order layer is in turn activated by the second order layer, and that leads to uh, the uh, affection of the hippocampal and the ventral medial prefrontal cortex state. Um, and the weight matrix, which uh, influences the learning of the hippocampus and the prefrontal cortex, is affected by the first order layer, like I just said. And as we recall it, that the first order layer uh, has Habian learning. Now, uh, moving on to the first scenario, here we can see that there is fear extinction with propanolol. Now, the base layer, where we can see the um, fear response, which is the conditioned fear response X5. You can see here clearly that uh, it goes up and then we administer propranolol here, which leads to reduction in norepinephrine. And then we can see an increase in the learning activity of the hippocampus, as well as the ventral medial prefrontal cortex. And that in turn leads to a reduction in the fear response. Now, what would happen if you would not administer propanolol? So in this scenario, we have uh, we, uh, we deactivated the propanolol state. And as you can see here, we have the same spike in fear and the retention of the fear response. And there's no learning at the hippocampus as well as the ventral medial prefrontal cortex. So to move on to what this means, is that uh, this first scenario shows that propranolol uh, is responsible for the reconsolidation of the hippocampal and the ventral medial prefrontal cortex state, and that results in a decrease in the conditioned fear response. Whereas if you do not administer propanolol, 
there is no reconsolidation and thus no decrease in condition to respond. So in this model, we can conclude that propanolol indeed has an effect on regulating the condition to respond by suppressing it with the new obtained memory through therapy. Now, the limitations of this model is that it is a relatively simplified representation of fear extinction learning and the administer, administering propanolol. For example, you could also include the beta adrenal receptors. And also the time frame is, is it really suitable? As in, there is no empirical data implemented in a model with regard to the time frame. Uh, but nevertheless, the model does the the process and impact of propranolol therapy over time, and it can be built upon. So I'm now just wondering whether there are any questions about the presentation. Okay, thank you. Does someone have a question? I'm also happy to answer any clarifying questions about the model. Okay, is no question. Okay, thank you so much, Andres, for your talk. Yeah, you're welcome. Cool. Shall I just end my uh, screen sharing?